But community leaders vowed to rebuild after a fire tore apart this church in Elma. But despite this devastation, some important artifacts were still spared. In fact, this cross from the altar of the St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Elma was pulled from the charred out building over the weekend. Senior reporter Eileen Buckley went to Elma today where community members are already on the road to rebuild. But uh, somewhere between 145 and 209, a call was made to 911 that the steeple was engulfed in flames. Look at it. State of shock. Something you didn't expect when you woke up. A person living next door to St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Elma captured this video Saturday afternoon as flames ripped through the steeple of this small church that's been part of this community for more than 160 years. Bob Bridenstein is a longtime church member who tells me the church was working on restoration starting with the steeple. The uh, construction company was working on the steeple on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday of this week. But just before two o'clock Saturday afternoon, fire erupted. We're just grateful that uh, the men and women of the five fire companies that responded acted so heroically. Uh, they were able to pull artifacts out of the church, um, the cross, the crucifer, uh, many of the candelabras were able to be pulled out. They're severely damaged, but that's part of our, our history and we're gonna do everything we can to repair and rebuild. These items charred and some melted, but helping to preserve the history of this church dating back to 1862. It's certainly an emotional roller coaster. Uh, many of us have been baptized and uh, communed and confirmed, and married. Uh, we've buried family and friends in this congregation. It really is a small but mighty church. There is no cause of the blaze at this time, and the Erie County Sheriff's Office tells me the incident is under investigation. On Saturday, the church's council president told 7 News after coming out of the pandemic, they were working to expand and grow the church with the steeple repair project first on the list, but they're pledging to rebuild. We're going to rise from the ashes from this. And the devastation of this fire far reaching in the community. A woman drove by telling us that she cried when she heard the church was on fire. A vigil is being planned for Tuesday evening. In Elma, Eileen Buckley, 7 News.